Uh, joining us now from Washington, Senator Mark Rubio of Florida. So you on, are you on board with sabotaging Obamacare in this way? Well, first of all, I wouldn't call it sabotaging. I'd call it actually helping the American people. What's sabotaging our economy is the Obamacare law as it's being implemented. Every single day we're now seeing new news reports about the harm that it's doing, particularly to middle class and working class Americans, the very people the law claims to help. I was in, did a roundtable in Florida on Friday with some small businesses, and they were talking to me about the impact this is going to have on janitors and ride operators and literally the, the epitome of the working class. It's going to cost them the health insurance they have now that they're happy with. It's going to force them into exchanges that don't even exist. It's going to raise premiums for these small businesses who are going to cut back on hours. People that are working 32 hours now or 40 hours are going to be down to 25 okay, hours. So but, it's a disaster. But look, let me play devil's advocate here. I'm no Obamacare okay. fan. I said from the very right. beginning that it should be in the marketplace and you can set up an exchange for people who can't afford it, um, but you should let the insurance companies compete. However, you are sabotaging if the Republicans indeed do this because it is the law of the land. It was voted in uh, by both houses and signed by the president, but you're, you're playing a guerrilla warfare game here. You're going, look, if we can't win um, the debate, which you didn't because it's law, we're going to not fund it in, in a roundabout way, creating all kinds of unintended consequences. Wouldn't it be better to let this thing unfold, the people will see what a disaster it is, and then in the uh, midterm elections, they'll vote everybody out who voted well, for it? I would say if someone's analyzing this from a political point of view, that's a very valid consideration. I'm worried about the people that are going to lose their jobs. I'm worried about the people that are going to lose their existing doctor-patient relationship. I'm worried about the people that are going to lose hours. You know, they're working 35 hours. Now they're going to get knocked down to 25 hours or 26 hours. I don't want these things to happen to them. Now, look, you're right, Bill. In an ideal world, the president would say, look, I supported this law, but it's obviously not working the way I thought it would, so we're going to suspend it or we're going to cancel it and come out with something better that learns from these mistakes. But instead of doing that, he's doubling down. He wants the law to go forward and then have him unilaterally pick which parts of it he's going to implement it or not. Sure. So he's not going to, so he's not going to sign any bill we pass that repeals it. So the but last I'm option that sure we have. I'm not sure that this is the way to go about it. If I'm a Republican, and I'm not, as you know, I'm an independent. I let the disaster happen so everybody can see it, and then the folks will say, you know what? The Republicans were right in the beginning. This is crazy. Yeah. Well, they'll vote the Democrats out of power, and then you have a clear victory. If you do it this way, the Republican Party is going to be labeled as a subversive group who won't uphold the law and finding a loophole to destroy it. And I could go but right back on all, you. Well, a couple things. First of all, in the meantime, real people are going to be hurt. I got Second it. Of all, I got it. But that's uh, our But system. here's the other point, Bill. Yeah, but here's the other point. Even labor unions are now against this. There was a letter signed by no one less than Jimmy no. Hoffa, obviously the son, who asked the president to put this thing aside because it's going to hurt people. We but, know But that. here's the point. This is the only chance and the last chance that we have. And the one thing that does bother me is there are people in Washington that love to say we're against Obamacare. How can you be against Obamacare? Obamacare, but vote for a budget that funds its implementation when you know the harm that it's going to do. Okay. Now, I would much rather the president come down from his prideful position and basically say, look, the law is messed up, but he's not going to do that, he's obviously. So this it. is the only option. This is a fundamental issue. This is not a disagreement about some small piece of legislation. But this Senator, affects a sixth of the U.S. economy. you got to look at the big picture. If you guys do this and refuse to pass any budgetary uh, bill that contains money for Obamacare, you're going to shut the government down. It's going to be chaos on all no. fronts. First of all, it's going to be chaos if Obamacare goes in. And the second, my second point is I view it differently. I view that someone who refuses to fund the government simply because it doesn't fund this out-of-control experiment, that's the unreasonable position. To say, look, we're, we'll decide to shut down the government unless you fully fund a program we know is not going to work and is hurting real people. That's the crazy position. Are you ready for the backlash, though, on this? Because you know the media is going to come after you. You know they're going to do that. They're invested in Obamacare, well, most of the media. But they're doing that already. The bottom line is they may be defending the administration, but it's indefensible to defend this bill. The, we, every single day there's new evidence of it, and if they're going to, of how, what a disaster it is. And by the way, if you're going to attack people that want to defund Obamacare, you're going to also have to attack labor unions, who have now become some of the most vocal opponents of the law because of what it's doing to the 30 or 40 hour work week, because of how it's hurting working class Americans. The president now says he's focused on the middle class. Well, one of the most important things we can do to help the middle class in America right now is defund and get rid of Obamacare because the impact it's going to have on millions of Americans who have health insurance and are happy with it is going to be dramatic and painful.
All you right, can't let Senator. that happen. Always right, good. Well, Very lively debate. Always nice to have you on the program. Thanks for taking the time.